Right, we'll have a little reminder about uh, sketching quadratics. So to do this, the, the best way to um, change it into a form that's easy to sketch is to either factorise or complete the square. So let's take a couple of examples. We've got f of x is minus 2x squared minus 7x minus 3. So here we have a quadratic function. If we try to factorise it, remember we will do the minus 2 times the minus 3 to get our 6. Now we need two numbers that multiply to make the 6 and add to make that minus 7 in the middle. So we'll split that up into a minus 6 and a minus 1. Now we can factorise those. Collect up the things that are the same, so we've got our two brackets. Now from those we can get the roots of the equation of f of x equals 0. So the first bracket, if we set that to be equal 0, x would be a minus half. And the second bracket, we set that equal to 0 and we get x equals minus 3. That tells us where our quadratic crosses the x-axis. We can also get the y-intercept, which is that last number at the end, or you work it out for when x is 0, what y would be. Okay, now we plot it, we put that minus 3 on. We know that it's an upside-down parabola because it's a minus x squared. And we've got our two roots, which are minus half and minus 3. Okay, let's have a go at completing the square. So we can do um, x plus 2 squared. So you take half of the coefficient of that x term to go inside of the bracket. Now, to one side, we can multiply that out and see what we get. Now, that gives us the x squared and the 4x, but we've got the end parts different. So we have a plus 4 and we really want it to be a minus 2. So we take off that 4 and put the minus 2 back in, and then we simplify down what that would be. Now, this gives us the transformation of x squared. So... The plus 2 gives us a 2 to the left, and the minus 6 tells us to shift it 6 down. So if we look at what the graph would be as an y equals x squared, that's where it's starting at, and then we're going to shift it to match the equation that we've got. So minus 2 to the, to the left and two, uh, 6 down would give us the equation that we are looking for. And there it is sketched for you now. And don't forget to add in any important things that you can, so we can easily add in the y-intercept there. And we'll have a little reminder of what to do if the coefficient of x squared isn't 1. So with this one, we need to um, factorise out that 2 in front of the x squared, because we can only do completing the square once the x squared coefficient is 1. So we take out that 2, but we only need to do it on the first two terms. Leave that plus 2 at the end by its, and we'll deal with it later. So we've taken out the 2 from those first two terms. Now we can do completing the square on those. So half of that x coefficient. And then we need to subtract the square of that 3 quarters. Because that will give us um, 9 sixteenths too much. So we take off that 9 sixteenths. And then finally plonk that plus 2 back on to the end. We're going to tidy things up a little bit. And a little bit more. So now we have something that is a transformation of x squared, and that transformation is 3 quarters to the left and 7 eighths up. So if we draw that now, it's going to look like this. And we can put the y-intercept on as well. 